Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Gandy. And I'm Jonah Mercado. Today is a beautiful Tuesday, April 18th, and we are here with your morning announcements. Today is the second day of cast testing. Rem just a reminder that tomorrow there is no late start. The Spring 2023 Career and College Fair is here. This is your chance to find out about local salaries and on-the-job training for future employment. There's also more. If you are planning to earn a one to two year certificate or interested in transferring to a four year college, then this is the event for you. Wolfpack Performing Arts is, pro is proud to present Ranked the Musical. Showings are on April 21st, 22nd, 29th, and the 28th. Friday shows will be at 7 p.m. Saturday shows are at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Premium tickets are $15 and general admission is $10. Don't miss it. And now let's pass it on over to Tad Shelp for your wins and fails. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Tad Shelp. These are your wins and fails. To be honest, this week was pretty boring and there's not that much to report on, but let's get into it anyway. First, a huge fail to Nintendo for taking down Point Crow's videos. This happened after he made videos using a Breath of the Wild multiplayer mod that he built. He made four videos out of it and then just Nintendo took all of them down. Additionally, they gave his channel two strikes, putting him one strike away from his channel being terminated. Oh, they also took down 20 other Breath of the Wild videos, because why not? Point Crow tried to reach out, but Nintendo gave no response back, and since then there has been no response. In a video Point Crow made, he determined that he violated none of Nintendo's video policy guidelines and that they were just being super unfair to him. Now, this has been a huge problem for a while, and Point Crow isn't the only one affected, but for some reason, Nintendo continues to harshly punish creators for the little infractions they commit. And when they do this, it only makes their brand look bad. So I don't understand why Shigeru Miyamoto has to be such a prune. While we're at it, let's give another fail to Nintendo because they want Melee to die. The annual Shine Major event will be shut down next year because they don't have the money and Nintendo won't help or sponsor because they are preying on Melee's downfall since it's a 20 year old game that's still extremely competitive. The same thing has happened to Main Stage, Summit, Smash World Tour, Pan Cup, and more. So, for those of you who are going to play on your Switch during that though today, just take a moment and think about the evil corporation you are supporting. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. Back to Jonah and Daniel. Thanks, Tad. Last week, we discovered CO through many talented performances from a diverse array of students. Let's see how it, let's see it right now on Wolfpack TV Live. Very beautiful, guys. The Society of Women Engineers is hosting Project Aspire again this year. Project Aspire is an event to help young women have the resources they need to be successful in a career in engineering. It will be held as a free and virtual event Saturday, May 20th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Dan Gandy. And I'm John Mercado. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Animal, Animal Crackers, Crackers Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.